what's going on everyone? Well, here I am just doing a, a update on my collection. I haven't done an update in, in a while and I've gotten a few pieces uh, since then and uh, I'm just doing this quick update to show you what I've gotten in the past few months. But before I get to that, I, I want to give a shout out to all my subscribers. 365 or something that I have now. It has been an amazing uh, year and a half, almost going on two years of uh, doing this stuff on YouTube and collecting high-end collectibles for movies and games and stuff like that. And it's been such a great experience. I like to thank all my cool supporters. Sorry if I don't name some of you. Uh, Taylor, a Movie Freaks, Got a Pants, Paul, uh, the great man P2, uh, which I want to thank him right now for this awesome shirt, the P2 Vision shirt. You can get him, I'd contact him, and man, it's a nice shirt, nice logo. I, I like to thank him for that. And if you guys want one, just go go to P2 Vision and uh, and contact P2 and get this awesome shirt. And I want to send them uh, an early birthday because I know it's coming up, man. I know it's coming up, Jose. So uh, I want to send you something. You'll get something from me for your for your birthday. It's it's coming soon. Don't worry. And I gotta send those Street Fighter figures, man. I promise you. I wanna send them to you. Customize them, paint them up, do whatever you want with them. And I know you got them already from a uh, P2 pack, previous P2 pack, but. Who cares? I'm sending to you anyways. So uh, I'm gonna move on right now to the uh, update and uh, and oh yeah and sorry if I didn't mention your names, guys. I know there's a lot of you guys and and but thank you so much for your support and I'm a great supporter of all your sites too. I love all of you guys what you do up there on YouTube, collecting and putting your videos up. I love that stuff and you know I hope I one day I get to meet you guys in person and share you know some words about collecting and all this amazing stuff that Sideshow, Medicom and Hot Toys and all the other uh, collectible companies are doing. So let's get on with the updates. Okay guys, let's start the update. Here we have the Indiana Jones Premium Format done by Sideshow Collectibles. Amazing piece. There's the uh, skull that came with the Blu-ray uh, version of um, the uh, Crystal Skull. And it's a little, a nice little piece done by Sideshow Collectibles as well. And it was a Best Buy exclusive, and I got it. It was a really nice piece. It goes uh, with the whole theme there. And um, you know, Hawks, yeah, I'm playing that on uh, on PC right now. Awesome game. Recommended for all you guys that like flight simulators. Uh, there's a little plaque I did, uh, got laminated that came with the uh, Bank Robber Joker, the little poster, and looks awesome. There's the uh, Dark Knight soundtrack. <laughs> awesome work by uh, Hans Zimmer. Awesome, one of the best soundtracks probably ever made. I hear, oh, what do we have here? Oh, Sideshow Freaks, what's up, guys? Uh, just got a pump because of the announcement of uh, Call of Duty, uh, the new Call of Duty Modern War uh, Warfare 2, which is that's. Uh, I'm a big fan of COD4. I play that all the time. Best FPS out there right now, and now it's just exciting to know the new one's coming out. Really pumped about that. Okay, continuing here. Dragon Ball Z, my favorite anime of all times, and there's no better way to celebrate that ama this amazing anime with the uh, Medicom figures, which are like the best collectibles for Dragon Ball Z in the world, for sure. And there's regular Goku there, which is amazing, amazing figure, that's the first one I got. And there's Piccolo is out now, but I didn't get him because I wanted to wait for him right here. This is my brand new figure and added to my collection, my Goku Super Saiyan. Uh, real action hero Medicom and you know, a lot of people are probably would say that oh why why buy that it just looks the same it just has different hair well there's a lot of difference guys I mean if you know the story this is the big turning point of the story right there it's when Goku becomes and transforms to a Super Saiyan and just kicks freezes ass and you know it's just it's such a big turning point in the series and it just is symbolic of uh, uh, the man himself Goku there powering up and and it's just awesome. Even the costume is different. It's orangey, a little bit lighter orangey because it's. They probably want to simulate the glow, the Super Saiyan glow around him when he's a transform. So that's probably why it is like that. It's just awesome. I, I will, I'm gonna get pickle soon, and, and then Gohan, this uh, young Gohan, is coming too. So I can't wait till they make more of these and Vegeta and Trunks, and I hope they make them all. And the main three villains: Frieza, Cell, and Boo. Moving along here. Here we have the Dark Knight uh, figures. Uh, only three of them. Uh, I have I haven't got a Harvey yet. I will get him soon enough, and uh, the regular Batman as well. 
But here we have the uh, Joker. That's the mix of the, the regular Joker and the bank rubber Joker, which is, you know, it's the way to go with this figure. And the awesome sculpt on that figure. Oh man, it's amazing what they did with this. And the gun too, the, the machine gun. And there's the regular, no, the regular, right the Dark Knight costume. That's just amazing, amazing job they did with these figures, man. It's just unreal, unreal. Amazing job. There's a small figure that came with the limited edition Street Fighter 4. Uh, awesome little figure, very, very detailed. I can't believe uh, they put uh, awesome work on this. It looks really nice. And um, uh, turntables there from autoartsmodels.com. Awesome little turntables, guys. If you want to get, uh, you know, your collectibles, they're turning and they look awesome. Nice for displaying. And there is the bank rubber Joker right there with having both of the mask, which is that's the way to go. And that's that's by far probably the figure of the year. And especially that came with the head sculpt, and then you can switch it around, and then you get the perfect Joker figure because the other head sculpt was weak, man. That's it was all right, you know, but it's just that. This is this is the the sculpt one right here. Even if you can go on eBay and uh, and get one of these and just put it on your Joker, that's just phenomenal. And uh, here we have the, um, this is the one uh, little bust that came with the uh, Blu-ray uh, box set of Iron Man. And there's a DVD of Iron Man right there. And there's a Blu-ray Iron Man. And here we have watch, which I think it's the the best collectible of Iron Man in the world. I don't care what anybody says. I know there's a big debate and all the problems that everybody had with the bust. I mean, I'm so sorry, guys. You know, it's it sucks. You know, some of them, you know, came with flaws and you know, little scratches here and there and stuff like that. But I'm really glad I got mine and it's in one. It was in perfect shape and the paint job looks great. The one, it's one to one scale. I I've rectified it and and look around and I researched it and. It, this thing is one-to-one -one scale. It, it, they say it might be 1% uh, reduced because of molding or casting. Okay, 1% is absolutely nothing. I mean, it, this thing is one-to-one -one scale, no doubt. And it's just amazing. It's it's my favorite piece right now. And uh, un unreal. I, I hope everybody uh, will get a chance to have this incredible bust uh, done by Sideshow and Stan Winston. Rest in peace, Stan. Man, we'll all miss you. Okay guys, here's the rest of my collection on my friend Mike's house. So we'll start up here with the one-to-one -one scale wolf uh, helmet, which is awesome. Awesome work by Sideshow. I love that piece. And uh, I mean, the the option to mount it on the wall is awesome. But of course, I just got to wait a little longer you know, until I get my new house. And then I'll have my own um, collector's room in there or like even put it on my home theater, my future home theater. So for now, it's here. It's all being uh, safely... Uh, stored at my friend's uh, Mike's house, so but I love that beast, love it. Continuing here, Hot Toys Wolf Predator, and it's not the cleaner kit, it's just normal one, that's the one, first one that came out. Predator 2 Hot Toys, <laughs> awesome figure, man. I can't wait to get the P1 yeah, Predator coming up real soon, and then uh, Dutch, and I would love to have the Elder. Oh, this uh, of Predator too, but that thing is just crazy expensive. Six hundred dollars they go on eBay sometimes for. That's just ridiculous. I'll never pay that much money for a, a twelve-inch figure. That's just ridiculous. Um, here we have the um, Predator diorama. Very awesome piece. Too bad my, uh, of course, my showcase video on the on this piece had got taken down from YouTube for copyright material by Fox because Fox just sucks pretty much they think you know they're trying to make money off their videos and i mean i've legally bought all the all the dvds and blu-ray of predator and all i got all that and they don't care even the soundtrack every day and they just you know that's fox that's how fox is they suck big time so oh well